All right, so you're all booked and ready for your stay. Thank you so much for that. Uh, my name is Hank, I'm the creator of this little studio here, and this video is mainly just to run you through some of the features that come along with this little studio. So, let's get started. Front door. Okay, I'm making a whole section on the front door because there's a little bit going on here. First of all, let's go over this smart lock. So, you should have gotten an email from Airbnb or from me giving you a link to the August smart lock. Now, you have to download the August Smart Lock app, and then you can completely control this app, lock and unlock from anywhere. Now, when you come home and you're on this side of the door, all you have to do is grab this knob, turn it, it manually locks. Now, we don't supply the key for this bottom lock, so please, don't lock it. You wanna manually unlock it? Turn it back the other way, the door's open again. Wow. Please note, the hub for the smart lock that lets you lock and unlock it is plugged in right underneath this adorable little orchid here. Now, if that plant is still there, please look underneath at the August Smart Hub and never touch it. Thank you very much. If you unplug that August Smart Hub, you won't be able to use it anymore. So. Be forewarned. Moving on to the light switches. This one controls the light right there, outside. This one controls the light in the corner, again, outside. This middle switch controls the fan and light in the living room. This right here is a coat rack. The kitchen. So, first of all, we're talking about these lights. So. These lights are controlled by their own little switches. This particular switch, right behind here, attached to the side of the mini fridge. Off, on, easy. In terms of these little LED lights in the kitchen, they're controlled by this little remote that I just leave in the kitchen. I keep the cutting board on top of all of these things, just to make it look a little cleaner. Doesn't matter, do whatever you like. Here, all the utensils are stored. There's holes in the bottom too, so if you wash them in here, it should drain out. Next up, we have just a little sponge holder. Very easy. Now, I get confused with this myself. If you wanna take this faucet head out, just push it down, pull it out, you're ready to go. It's got a button on the side. You can press it for either the spray mode or the regular mode. You got it. One piece of advice, please. This head does swivel both ways, but obviously, let's keep it in the sink. All right, now we're gonna talk about cooking. First, we're gonna talk about this induction cooktop. Now we have our induction top out. All we gotta do is plug it in. I've put an outlet right here, make it a little bit easier for you. The LED lights are plugged in there as well. Everything on here, control-wise, is a little touchscreen once you turn it on. All these pots and pans are induction safe. There you go, start cooking. Just in case you haven't seen the uh, fireplace video, or you haven't gotten to it yet, there is a fire extinguisher over by the fireplace. So if anything happens here, please use the fire extinguisher. Especially if it's an oil fire, don't put water on it. Not to insult your intelligence, but just to cover my own oven. Pull this down and it opens. If you guys have any issues or questions or want to learn about these things more, the manuals for all these things are down here in this drawer, along with, with some extras, sponges, some utensils, washcloth, some extra pans, etc. This little device right here, other than that, you guys should be good to go. All right, so here we have standard microwave. Thousand watts, by the way. Mini fridge-ish, medium, maybe. Not a very small mini fridge, but not a full-size fridge. Anyway, I have a decent two-tier freezer here. This little device in here is just a scraper for the ice. Don't be intimidated. 
and your standard mini fridge, refrigerator in the bottom. All right, now on everybody's favorite topic, coffee. Feature number one of the coffee section. These chairs go up and down with the little lever on the right side. This is a little single cup Keurig K-cup. They have the little K-cups up here. I've supplied a few of them for you already. Um, I have this cute little mug for you too. This is yours, free to use. Obviously, please don't break it or throw it through any of the windows. We also have some little succulents here. They need very little treatment, um, like a little bit of water, like once a month. Moving on from the coffee section to the office. Here's the office. All right, obviously this desk space can be used for whatever you like. Um, just ask you to be careful putting stuff on this. I made this table myself. It's not perfect, I understand. Um, but please try not to damage it because it would take me a while to make it up. One of the main features of this coffee table office desk thing is your little outlet right here. So we have two USB ports and two regular outlets so you can plug in whatever you want. Do your work by the window, by the flowers, this other window, whatever your heart desires. The reading. All right, this is by far my favorite build of the house. So let me run you through some of the features of this little reading. Deck. First things first, the light switch. Same light that we have over there. The switch is a little bit easier to see. Off, on. You got it, you're killing it. Next, since I know I would like to do a lot of work on this super comfy little couch, right next to this window in the morning, maybe have a little bit of coffee and not spill it on the couch. We got an outlet right here. You can do your work on your computer, do whatever you have to do. And if your guests are staying and they decide to sleep on this bed, they have somewhere to charge their phone. Speaking of, yes, this is also a bed. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so making this couch into a bed is very simple. There's slats underneath here. So all you have to do is grab on this front piece of wood, grab in this middle of the bed, Pull both out very slightly. It all drops right into place. Twin X up. Extra linens, etc. I'll show you another section of this video. But let me show you how to put it back up. Just as easy. We grab this top section of the couch, put it back on top of the bed, push everything in. She's the couch again. Easy as that, the living room. All right, there's a lot going on in this living room, but the first thing we're gonna talk about is this Ikea sleeper couch, it's pretty sweet. If you already watched the portion about that little sofa bed, remember I talked about the extra linens. Those extra linens, right in here. Now, these are labeled, but this brown one goes with that oatmeal colored couch over there. This fancy one is a queen, but this will cover the sofa bed and your bed. There's also extra sheets for that bed or this one as well. Like I said, everything you need in here will be available along with an extra little blanket in there. All right, now here we are at the fireplace. So this fireplace is more for heating the room rather than enjoying a nice fire. So to open it, Pull this lever up, pull it open. There it is. This is where you put the wood. Now, right next to the fireplace, I've included some wood that should get you started and some fire starters. In order to use these, take this little cube, put it on some of the wood you have, light it, you're good to go. It'll burn for a little while and it'll help your wood burn a little bit faster, a little bit easier. Please make sure you don't burn yourself or the house down. Would really love that. If an accident happens, fire extinguisher is right here. Now you can also use this fire extinguisher for the kitchen or anything else that happens in the house. This is just to help clear out the ash and some of the coals that you make 
after the fire, just to clean everything up. I would suggest bringing the trash can to the fireplace when you're scooping stuff out so you don't get dust everywhere. Now, there is a fan that's gonna blow that warm air out to heat up the room, if that's what you would like. Now, just so you know, when you plug this in, the fan is going to turn on a very low setting or whatever the setting is here on this knob in the corner. There's an outlet right up here, plug this in, the fan already starts blowing. I do not recommend leaving this plugged in because if it's cold outside, cold air will blow in if there's no fire here. So please keep it unplugged if you're not using it. When you are using it, you want to blow some hot air in here, there's a knob to the left, turn it to the right, turns that fan up, turn it to the left, turns that fan down. So you want to heat the place with a little bit of good old fashioned fire, please do so. Just remember, anything on this that is black is going to be hot when there's a fire in there. So when you open and close it, please use this little spring knob. Now moving on to the entertainment system, or as I like to call it, a TV. First of all, the TV is operated by this remote. To use this remote, press the buttons. Now, assuming you're connected to the right Wi-Fi, there is also an application from Vizio that you can use to control the TV. Now that you got the app, you can use the buttons just as you normally would. You can even click Netflix and it'll bring you right to it. Next up on the entertainment center is the PlayStation. The games are in the couch along with most of the other stuff, so feel free to use it. To switch to the gaming console, you're gonna have to hit input on this remote or the remote on your phone. Find the particular HDMI that it is. I don't really know, it's like one through three. Turn it on, it's pretty simple. There's a button right here. It's touchscreen. You'll hear that and some very loud fans. To make sure those controls are charged, plug them in before you go. They are also in the couch. The bedroom. All right, here we are, the bedroom. Everybody's favorite part where we like to sleep. Super comfy mattress. I'm gonna run you through some of the super basics of this little area right now. Hey, these switches, the far one controls this light and fan. The other one on the left controls that fan in the living room, but there's another control for that fan in the living room by the door. So if this one's not working, you're gonna have to flip the switch on the other one. These little lights you see going around here are controlled by this little button right here. You can change how they look with that. If you wanna turn them off, simply unplug it. Now for this closet, just wanna let you know, it's not broken. Took this off the hinge for a reason, makes it a little bit easier you to get in and out with the closet still open. This portion of the closet, switch open. You have access to all of this. The lights on the fan point directly into the closet. So all you gotta do, turn them on, you're good to go. The rest of the closet is pretty self-explanatory. You have these little rolling drawers here. Put them wherever you like. Iron, please be careful. Ironing board, which is hanging up here. All your hangers. We have a few games. The instructions for these games are right here, a little steamer. Right, now we're gonna talk about the bathroom. More specifically, how to use the shower. You're gonna push up on this knob, turn it right or left, turn it on. Simple as that. The last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is this mirror. It's fools. That's it. Just please don't slam it up against the wall and break it. Please don't break anything. Next. Laundry. Now, obviously the laundry room is not inside of your unit, but you go outside that door, make a left, there's a little door right in the carport area, and that's where the laundry room is, and you're free to use it. So, you washing. God, it's dumb. So besides basically the backyard, this is the only shared space that you guys are gonna have. Now, this is a laundry room, pretty typical. Samsung dryer, Samsung washer, pretty self-explanatory. Um, 
Got a little bit of detergent up here for you. All you gotta do is just squeeze it in, everything goes in. Uh, just please be respectful of the space and just know that there will be one or two other people using it every once in a while. Other than that, it's laundry. Well, that's it. Welcome home. I hope that helped you out. But if you need anything else, let me know. Do your stay.